everybody. Welcome to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, and today we're celebrating All American Eats, those foods that have become part of our culture and our kitchens. When it comes to All American Treats, you probably don't think of Turkish taffy, but let me tell you, when I was a kid, this was my favorite candy, Bonomo's Turkish taffy. I've just rediscovered them. They've got such a history, you won't believe it, so take a look. Give it a snack, Bonomo. Give it a crack, Bonomo. Then lift up the flap, strip off the wrap, and hey, away we go. We go. This vintage taffy dates all the way back to 1911. That's a fast pot. What are you offering? They would smack it with a hammer, take the pieces, put it in the bag, and sell it by weight. And that's the way Bonomo Turkish taffy was originally sold. Bonomo is as retro a candy as you can get. It really is uh, the epitome of Americana. But it's not your typical taffy. It stands on the edge of being a hard, brittle candy, and it stands on the edge of being a very soft candy. Which means you can crack it apart and melt the pieces in your mouth, or you can warm it up and stretch it out. Just from the warmth of your hands, they become something that's very, very pliable. Believe it or not, candy maker Herman Herrera created the Turkish taffy by accident. One day he was making a marshmallow batch of candy and made some serious mistakes and decided that he was going to take this mistake and make it into something, and that's how Turkish taffy was initially made. They called the taffy Turkish for marketing purposes, but here's something that might surprise you. This taffy is actually not taffy at all. It's a nougat. Bonomo Turkish Taffy, an iconic candy long thought to be extinct. But now there's some shattering news. Bonomo is back, touting its unique texture with the motto, smack it, crack it. Crack it up. Major crackage, dude. You need to be brought into the fold of how to properly enjoy a piece of Bonomo Turkish Taffy. The rookie mistake, Adam, is to open it before you crack it. Smack it, see what happens. Smack it, crack it. Oh! Where did all my taffy go? The veterans follow the instructions. Take it in the palm of your hand, just like the instructions say. Much better. Now you have a way to eat it without getting mess all over the table, your floor, your car. You pop the taffy in your mouth, and then it starts to warm up, melt, and all the banana flavors release, and it's this super creamy, chewy piece of taffy. It's like a tropical banana milkshake. This candy defies all laws of physics. Now, how do these pieces differ from the bar shape that we were making before? They're just designed to be enjoyed as a soft chew. See, right away, that is soft and elastic. That's great. The whipped egg whites give it that great strawberry flavor, but the creaminess, too. It's got awesome texture. Tastes like a strawberry creamsicle. Few candies have undergone such an epic struggle for survival. But thanks to the persistence of a dedicated entrepreneur and the clamor of tropical candy lovers everywhere, Turkish taffy is back. They call the taffy Turkish for marketing purposes, but here's something that might surprise you. This taffy is actually not taffy at all. It's a nougat. And why it was called taffy, I think because taffy was considered a chewy, stretchy candy, but it's not really a taffy. Bonomo Turkish Taffy is made by the Worrell Classic Caramel Company in York, Pennsylvania. They have four flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and banana. And because of its distinctive properties, it's a very tricky recipe to follow. It is an extraordinarily difficult uh, candy to make. For this batch, workers add vanilla flavoring. Then, after mixing at a variety of temperatures, the taffy travels to the cooling wheel where the candy cascades into bins. It'll come out over this cooling wheel, which will be at about 120 degrees, ready for packaging. They either squeeze the taffy into skinny ropes and cut it into bite-sized pieces, or chop up bars of the sticky stuff. Finally, it's a wrap. Machines package more than 100 bars every minute. Then it's your turn to unwrap a piece of nostalgia. B-O-N-O-M-O, Bonomo, 